The Flash number 46, Joshua Williamson writing, Scott Collins on the art. Uh, this is the, the prelude issue before Flash War kicks off, uh, with narration by one Hunter Zolomon, a.k.a. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, so... Can, can we just that, this, this starts with In Times Forgotten. It, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Ooh, hello. Yeah, that immediately... This is the thing. Zoom seems to know everything from the timeline. He seems to know, every, you know, he's got all the memories. Yeah. Right? That, that's first and foremost. And we find out that in this, you know, in the current sort of post-Flashpoint New 52 timeline that we're still in, that yep. uh, Thorn showed up and, like, broke him out of prison and, like, rescued yep. him. And then he actually healed him in the future. And it helped him set all this stuff up with the, you know, the renegades and all the rest of it. And... Like they were working side by side, and he's you know so this is a whole thing, and uh, we actually see later on when it goes back to him in the future that he like you know Thon eventually got sick of waiting for the plans to work out that he sped off to do his own thing, and then we see that Zolomon sees his death, so he sees the you know so this stuff was all happening mostly before the button, and then he sees him yep. die in the button, and now we're kind of in roughly the build up to now, um, yep. where he's he's getting ready to do his thing, so that was all their stuff, and I, I really uh, you know obviously that was exciting. But I think the emotion of the Wally stuff is really mm. where the issue yeah. shines more than anything. Wait, Wally I, cannot catch a break, whether oh, it's no. his his non existential or non uh, existent heart problem that's now gone. Like Yeah, that's retcon that's retcon that out of existence. Thank you. That's fine. To to the Linda stuff to now him having negative effects on people, you know? Yeah, especially himself. He's, he's struggling to deal with his own memories. Um, yeah. But I, I love that we see they go to Zatanna. It's not magical. They go to Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Oh, I've seen Martians have these sort of psychic issues before. They, they had to go in, into solitude uh, until they... Just, just wait it out a few centuries. centuries. Yeah, a few yeah. centuries. Uh, Jessica you tries to read it with a ring, and I'm like, oh, I guess... Uh, it's been, that, that especially made me smell, I'm like, oh, Wally is definitely ever in the history of DC Comics interacting with Jessica yeah. Cruz. So that's, that's a fun idea, even if we don't actually get to see them speak to each other. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you know. no, but they're, yeah, they're there. That's good. That's, that's fun. Uh, and then they go to, you know, uh, cyborgs, you know, Silas uh, Stone mm-hmm. to, 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 to get yeah. him scanned and, you know, medical equipment and all the rest yeah. of it. Uh, he gets quite angry, freaks out, and he has this weird vision at one point where he sees Cyborg looking different. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, he's all gold. All gold. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what you think I, I of that. I didn't recognize it. At first, I was like, is this supposed to be. You know, like a glimpse from a from a past timeline. And I'm just not recognizing this. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's well, well clearly well, cyborg. So. Yeah, w- Wally was on the Teen Titans, of course, with Cyborg for a long time. So I wonder, like, if this is just a part of the uh, for a reference to a new Teen Titans thing that I've not read. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Is it? That's possible. Is this a reference to something that I'm? I just don't know. Yeah, some story that happened where he was all gold for some reason. Uh, it's, it's possible. I mean. Uh, People can let us know if, if you're if you're catching yeah, a reference. It, it kind of looked like a like a bleed effect, like you yeah, know, the, the memories are leaking. Yeah, you know, we get more of that later mm. in the issue. Yeah, and Wally sp- these memories leaking out to reality. Yeah, Wally speeds off. So then Barry speeds off to try and fix it, and he goes to Bruce for advice. He wants to talk to Bruce about how oh. how, how he deals with having the kids, you know, and that includes like, you know Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, like, all of them. How does he cope with the stress of them being around? And Bruce isn't there. Bruce is out with Selena. And actually, I thought it was funny the reference to the Poison Ivy arc in Batman here. Yep. He's like, yeah. Uh, I, maybe you want some uh, reprieval for the <laughs> for for being taken out during the poison ivy incident. Uh, but I love that he actually gets that advice from Alfred. Alfred's like, hey, yeah. like you know, Master Bruce does worry, and it's, that's part of being a parent, and mm. you know. And, and then he cleans up after himself. Yeah, because he smashes the, the monitor in uh, frustration. So he's like, oh, sorry, Alfred, yeah. I'll, let me fix that for a second. And Alfred's yeah. like, no one ever cleans up after themselves well, around here. Let me just here. put all these glass shards back together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speed Force. Speed Force, bro. Uh, so, so, so we have that, but um, obviously the the big emotional thing. So we see. So we have a bit more of a future thing with uh, Zolomon narrating, but the big thing is that he compares Wally to Eobard because he says, "Oh, you're kind of similar, and they always run off and they they go to places from their past to try and cool down." And we see Wally go to the old the old houses and stuff like that. And he goes to the Flash Museum, and obviously we're seeing things here that are good little teases. We see the old Justice League logo. Um, <sighs> Did you notice that they yep. actually credited the, the decades or the years on the statue yep. with the uh, yeah. golden gold, age, silver, silver age, silver, bronze, and present, um, I assume? Bronze and, well, present or platinum, whatever they want to call oh, it. Sure. Or, uh, yeah. Well, I was thinking present because it was 2006. H- had it been... Cause, I mean, you could argue post-crisis, but then technically 86 is the start of post-crisis, so I, 
doesn't quite. Did, uh, did, yeah, did we so shift 86... to a postmodern? Postmodern, yeah, postmodern. Yeah, there you go. Like, did you? But like '86 to '06 was Huawei's golden age as the Flash. Yeah, it was. Like, that was when he was, you know, that was uh, his time. Him fighting Cobra. Well, I think that's the point. The first era is uh, Jay, the second era is Barry, yeah. and so on. Barry. Um, yeah. Yeah. But so so Barry shows up though, and he's like, "Oh yeah, come here." And he's like, "Why here?" He's like, "Oh, the Flash Museum." And he's like, "Wally." And then you turn the page, and there's nothing there. It's an empty worksite. He is no, seen because I, really, I was questioning. I was like, "Why is all this stuff here? Like, we've had yeah. no reference to this." Yeah, but look, look on that statue of of the Flashes, and that's Bart. Yeah, that's it an is, impulse. Is. Yeah, that's impulse. That, that's why yeah. I was so confused. I was like, wait, what? Do you have no reference yeah. to any of this stuff. Well, which is why it's a neat little twist that it's not really here. He's remembering this from the previous timeline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's great stuff, this and it... the, the bleed effect I was talking about with Cyborg. Yeah, where I'm like, okay, so he's uh, why well, I assumed he's projecting a memory from a timeline onto Cyborg, yeah. and I'm just not familiar with which whatever that story was. Yeah, no, that makes that makes sense, and you know Barry gives him a pep talk, and I, I, this is probably the arts that it's best in the issue is while he's freaking out, and then uh, the the rain in the following page, and it's like, so I mean, it doesn't actually resolve anything. He's still in the same place, and Barry's just trying to help him. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's basically it for the flashes, but it's just that emotional thing. But I love the next page when they run off together. It's like, hey, come on, let's let's go run and kill off. Uh, yep. We have that that great three panel sequence at the bottom where it's it's like the echo of the Flash Museum when it fades in, and then we see mm-hmm. it, and then it fades back out. Yeah, great stuff. It's, it's it's almost like he's anchoring things to reality. You know, in, in the same way he can physically change people and give them their memories back, can he affect the physical world in the same way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know. Zolomon is basically given up in the making the flashes better. He's given up in that now. Uh, so he ends, he's in costume, and I love, I forgot, had you asked me just off the top of my head what's the difference between, you know, Thorne and Zolomon's costume, I may not have remembered, but as soon as I saw those big black triangles over the eyes, I was like, yep. oh yeah. This, this, is, this is the Zoom costume. Right, we're into this. Yep. Well, uh, I like that they tied them together finally, and I like how... Zoom decided he's like, well, I'm going to go deal with Barry for the first time. Yeah, yeah. And, like, just that as a longtime Flash fan, holy crap. No, that, that's what's happening. It's not going to end well for somebody. Oh, absolutely. I, like, I love this. This was, this was, and I've been loving Flash. I think, I feel like it's been just going strength to strength. Yeah. I am so hyped for Flash War. Oh. Yeah, one of my friends, like, oh, Flash hasn't been that good. And I was like, you read Valiant comics just enough. <laughs> like, you don't care about the Flash like I do. So, like it's been great in, in this build up. So it has, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been, and he's he's also yeah. like three episodes or three episodes, three issues behind. I feel so like I was like, well, get I, through them. I feel like Williamson was like trying to do a lot of his own thing, and he was holding off and going into the past of the Flash. He was holding off and like digging into Wally and possibly Jay, possibly Bart, possibly timelines. I think it has a bit more meaning because of it, because yeah. it's it's not just. Oh, we did this because we can, right at the start of Rebirth. Where it yeah. was, he gave it's us... easy to write it off as that because it's oh, this is what the people want. Whereas he's like, no, I'm doing, I'm establishing my run and and what yeah, I actually it's... want to do with the story. And it's very similar to what Johns did, where he came in and created a whole new thing for Wally and didn't really start dealing with the legacy issues until later into his run. Yeah, and he gave us all these new villains. So you know, Williamson gave us you know the negative Speed Force. He gave us Godspeed. Uh, Godspeed. You know, yeah. he's done his version of the rogues and, and uh, how uh, they fit in all this. On, on that comparison with John's, I think it's worth knowing that, yeah, Williamson is a fan of John's. You oh, know, clearly. That, yeah. that, that, that's the stuff he, he and enjoyed And vice versa. Reading. You know, right. John's hand-selected him. But, you know, that, that was the stuff he enjoyed reading. So those structural things, it's kind of like that's that, the inspiration. It makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And then sense. having Collins on art, too, makes it feel like a throwback to that era. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that only helps in... It can't be a coincidence that you bring in Collins and when it's time to do the legacy and they have the Flash Museum and Barry referenced and all this other stuff. Like, Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. I think if you're a Flash fan, this is starting to really poke at things that are making you tingle. You're like, oh, yes. And yeah, let's not gloss over the fact that Iris has memories. Iris says that, she, I mean, it's not like she just has all her memories back in one lump, but she oh, has. I like, like how she explained it. Yeah, it's, it's like fragments of movies that she saw one time. She's like getting glimpses, and I'm yeah, like. They're, they're in there. And the question is then, well, do you remember being married? Like, is that one of the things you remember yeah. right now? Do you remember going off to the future and having kids? 
<laughs> and, and, and here's the thing like will she go through things where oh that'll trigger a memory it's like you know they're yeah, in there yeah. now but you know they're, they're not all like accessible but you know she sees something and then it's like oh get, get, get a flash of a memory and in the, in the same way you know, memory actually does work so you know you yeah. see something and it looks yeah. and that's how but you at remember. the very least at the end of the last issue she did she did ask wally where's everyone else so she does remember other people who aren't here anymore at the very least absolutely yeah. we just don't know who exactly she's yeah. referring to and maybe Wally will ask her to start a flash war and he finds out about his kids. Because I think we know that he's going to find out about his kids yeah. in flash war. That's the one thing we know, other than, you know, right, yeah. okay. boring. And, and the <laughs> idea with Zoom being involved, too, makes me uneasy. I, I think that's the question, though, is does yeah. Iris tell him about the kids or does Zoom? Zoom. Oh, God. Zoom does has, I, no, like, Zoom has his full memories. Iris doesn't, remember? So until right, right, Zoom shows up and, and reactivates him. You know, no, no, I mean, I'm just thinking because you know, Iris, you know, we're just saying, Oh, where's everyone else? She could be referring to the kids for all we know. And here's the thing when Zoom does show up, because we know Wally doesn't remember everything, does he remember that Zoom basically murdered his kids before they were born? And he did, he did eventually get them back, of course. If you've not read John's run, that's a whole big mm-hmm. thing. That, but for a yep. time, we have this thing where, where Zoom wanted to give Wally a tragedy because he never had the tragedy that Barry did where, you know, his mother died. Oh. He wanted to give him a tragedy and he did that by trying to kill his pregnant wife. And he didn't kill Linda, but he did kill the kids. And timey wimey yep. flash stuff happened later on and we got the kids back and they were already, like, a few years old. Yep. And that was fun. But does he remember that attempt? Yeah, little, oh little boy. Iris and Kai. And, yeah. Iris too, as she's often referred yes, to yeah. as. Yeah. Who becomes the new impulse. Yeah, yeah. Not all yeah. of it. 